My wife wants to disown our son for cheating on his girlfriend, who was wrong. Our son is in college and he has a longtime girlfriend and he cheated on her with his ex-girlfriend. My wife warned him to come clean and tell his girlfriend. My son was being selfish and he didn't. When a month went by and nothing, my wife dropped the bomb. Girlfriend is devastated, but I think her and my son are still talking because they still hang around each other like this cheating never happened. My wife is upset that our son would do this. Don't get me wrong, so am I. I just don't like to stay in my kid's romantic drama. He's an adult. My wife wants to cut all contact with him because he thinks she thinks he's the equivalent of a certain individual because of the cheating, which I definitely don't agree with her on, and I know my wife will deeply regret doing so to our son when our son is going to be talking to his whole family, but ignores his mom. All right. So yeah, what he did was wrong. He's young. He's stupid. They're all young. Um, and, and things like this tend to happen when you're dealing with the younger generation. Nobody feels responsible for anything. People just want to do the things that they want to sit up there and do. And everybody's going to decide to be selfish. But for the mom deciding that she wants to disown him, are you are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? You're acting as though he sat up there and like robbed a bank, took somebody's life. Like, yo, th this is when I have a severe problem with certain parents out here where they want to be more offended than the person that this is actually about. Like, how do you decide as a parent that you want to make this situation about you? This has nothing to do with you. Why do you have an attitude? Why are you so angry? Why are you acting like the child did something to spite you as if he did something on purpose in order to ruin your credibility or your branding or your name directly out? Like, yo, that's nonsense. That woman legitimately has some type of problem. And for the life of me, I two days later, everyone wanted an update from the past post I made. Some was dismissive about what he was hiding. The fact that he got both girls pregnant. Turns out the girlfriend was still in contact with him because of the pregnancy. The other girl, the ex, is getting rid of the child. The girlfriend forgave the son for cheating. The girlfriend and son are back together and keeping the baby. The wife is pissed. She blocked my son on everything and she's done with him completely. Wife states that she doesn't care if I talk to son or not, but she doesn't want to be involved in his life anymore. And he's basically dead to her. Sensational. Yeah, good sir. Your wife got problems. I don't know what is her problem. Um, I don't know what she's been through in history, but she needs to go seek some therapy for you to. Again, this is why I stated before. It's a little bit weird to me when a woman wants to take more offense than the actual woman that is involved. The woman who was literally having his child that was cheated on by that man. She forgave him. She's like, you know what? It's whatever it is. We can put this past us. This is a pretty much a brand new start. We're about to be parents. Let's, you know, look forward and let's not, you know, continue staying and looking directly at the past. She forgave him. She forgave him. But the mom is like, oh no, that's, that's unforgivable. I, I'm not going to sit up there and forgive you. I don't care if you are coming in and having your first child and she forgave you. I'll never forgive you. Like, yo, that's some weird, very, very weird type stuff. Like I said, you would have thought that she was the other chick. Like what's going on here? Like what realistically is going on? Are you mad that he got girlfriends or something? Like what? Like is there some other deep rooted things that we just realistically don't know about? Because never in my life have I ever seen a mother this involved. Like why are you so emotionally involved? Like is your life that boring? Are you just not that entertained by the the, the life that you have or the things that you're able to do every single day that you have to emotionally get involved in whatever it is that your son is doing? Hey, yo, I need you to go touch some grass, go take a vacation, go take a cruise, go around the world, go do something. Because like I said before, yeah, what he did was wrong. But at the end of the day, it don't matter how wrong it was because she forgave him. So it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't. It literally it does not matter at all. So you could decide to see your son as a cheater all you want to. The only thing that matters is what that woman is stating. If the woman is not 
um, you know, hammering that down and she's not continuously bringing it up, that is not a conversation that's not on her mind, then guess what? It doesn't matter. That dude is no longer a cheater because the main one involved forgave him. Like, that's crazy to me. That is very, very, like, like I said before, that's weird. And for a lot of women out here, if you got female friends like that, like, yo, you need to, you need to check that real quick. Those would be the ones that might mess up a lot of your opportunities and, and a lot of situations in your life because they feel more about the situation than you do. Like I said, that's dangerous. Nobody should feel, you know, more about that than you being specifically in the situation. That's crazy. That that's. <laughs> that's a thousand percent crazy like i said she would be the type of mom to turn in her own son if he found twenty thousand dollars like nobody was around and twenty thousand dollars was just lying on the ground she would be the mom to literally turn him in and to try to get him prosecuted that's the type of woman she is like i said that's dangerous but anyways let me know what y'all think about this video and everything i said in the comment description below